gyms here or there, a couple of restaurants, see how it goes. Meanwhile, we've got this fucking um, like three different variants that are set to ravage the province. And this guy doesn't give a fuck. He's like, ah, but I want to go to the Kit Kat bar for a couple of drinks and a nice veal piccata. That's his goal. So anyway, Andrea yesterday, uh, she she ramps up, does her thing. This is Doug Ford's response, which has created a massive fucking problem for Doug Ford. But this is Doug Ford's response to Andrea Horvath's criticism of his reopening plan. Since this response, he's been labeled a misogynist pig, uh, sexist, all that shit. And I want you to listen for it. Listen for the sexism if you can hear it. Why, why don't you come and, and, and join us to support the people of Ontario for once? rather than just sit there and criticize and criticize. You know, it's, it's, like, it's like listening to nails on a chalkboard listening to you. I don't think he got a Peloton for Christmas. Oh, oh my goodness. Did you hear what he said? Oh, my God. Fuck. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, guys. This, yeah. it's a, this should have been like this. Oh, you, you sound like nails on a chalkboard. And then Horvath should have got up and said... Listen, I know you spent your high school days slinging hash, Chubby, but you know, chubby. but but you don't seem to be very well versed in this health crisis. And then move on, and, and then and then it just goes away. It doesn't matter. It's just like one sentence. But instead, can I went, ask a, a dumb then, guy question? Well, hold on. Sure. He, instead, they went to the outrage uh, playbook immediately and shamed yeah. him and got a whole bunch of people to shame him. And why? Because and I bet you eighty percent of us just found out yesterday. That's somehow it's like uh, nails on chalkboard is sexist, and it's not just about the sound and how you don't like it's it's got it. You hate women, and I, it's just so stupid. It's so illogical. It's like we're living in like a weird science fiction movie or something. Lock. My question is, does he have a reputation for? I know he has a reputation for saying dumb things. Yeah. But does yeah. he have a reputation for talking down to um, women? Um, has he? He's made- a Ford. I, I guess. I, well, I don't know. Like, I don't yeah. have. I can't recall examples of of him being sexist. So that. But that's... even. But even if you said he is a sexist, maybe he is. Like, let's go with he is. That doesn't mean that that statement <laughs> was born out of sexism. It means that maybe he finds her annoying. You know. Well, let's let's break that down because uh, as soon as he tweeted that yesterday, I t- I actually tweeted the video out like minutes after it came out because as soon as I saw it and read it a little light went off in my head. Like that's a terrible thing to say. <laughs> I would second that. What what stupid, talk to We're talking about the same stupid thing. Fucking look at thing the look of it. Look on his face after he look, says it. He yeah. knows, he knows he made a mistake. You, got, you sound like Dion Warwick. I just knew what was going on inside that man. Look, look at it. Well, let's let's let to Locker's point. Let's watch Doug Ford, who, by the way, I got to agree with Locke. Probably didn't do a whole lot of yoga or calisthenics during the, the shutdown. But anyway, let's move past Mr. Cheesecake and let's get to the look on his face at the end of it. He knew, dude, well, he, like what he the said was there. fucking what, offside. Why, why don't you come and, and, and join us to support the people of Ontario for once rather than just sit there and criticize and criticize? You know, it's, it's, like, it's like listening to nails on a chalkboard listening to you. Oh, he oh, knew. The, what, what he one knew. One of the women behind him le- like clapped her hands. She hates herself, clearly. She's a conservative <laughs> man. Of course, she's gonna fucking clap her hands for the guy. It's not like she's any politician will 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 absolutely betray their gender for politics. Yeah. They will. That's a fucking gimme. Um, but is it sexist? No. You don't it, find it sexist. You're you know a great what? piece. You know what? Actually, you know, here's more, a lot of people, I'm gonna right? give you a more profound answer. It doesn't fucking matter if it was or not. To prove that someone did it be motivated by sexism, you have to climb into their brain and extract things and figure it all out, or you just do guesswork and you just like you make it a story. It doesn't matter. It should have been a nothing story. It should have just went under the radar. Oh, Doug Ford tried to do a zinger and it sucked, and then it fell flat, and here we are talking about COVID again. But no, we 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 did the sympathy tour. I just don't think he respects women at all. And and he hates them and he doesn't want them at Queens Park because he said nails on chalkboard. Just- well, I hold it. First of all, uh, I didn't hear any of that. 
and and it's up to everybody because you know there's two things that happen after something like this it, for me it's you see a bunch of dudes and women come out for the virtue signaling points right mm -hmm. uh, i saw that all day yesterday all day today uh i got a tweet from a guy here i'll just read it to you it was sexist it is sexist he is sexist has like seven thousand likes uh, <laughs> i'm not going to tell you who it is because it doesn't matter but it's a famous person um, and that's probably why it has 7,000 likes. So there's that part of it. The other part of it is, was it really fucking sexist? And I, I, I have to come to a conclusion based on the fact, and it's one simple fact, that he said it to a woman. Oh. Those, are, those are cliche, female, gender discriminatory stereotypes. Would that's, he have said that to a dude? I, I Probably not. That's That's where I kind of agree with Dean. I think that's why people are... No, he would have called him a fucking loser, but you can't call someone a fucking loser um, in the House of Commons. So you have to say I agree like with you, James. It's a nothing point, but it's 2021, and this is the world that we live in. And and uh, I but that, yeah, did he, it's intend, a, it's world, did he yeah. intend to make a derogatory comment towards? I think he just I think he just made a mistake and threw it out there, and it. And, and it is what it is. I, I think that um, one thing we have to remember, actually, the, the thing that makes me feel better whenever I hear people just dismiss it immediately as sexism is that women are not of this all of the same mind on this. I would even hazard to guess that the majority of women don't think it's sexist and think it infantilizes them to tell them that they are a victim of a benign phrase like nails on chalkboard. And I think they'd be like, dude, don't we have bigger things to worry about than that stupid sentence? Like, what? Well, this is what we're going to, this is the hill we're dying on? I think they think it's a pretty ridiculous. They would probably rather see legislation that would open up more rape crisis centers than have someone bitch at Doug Ford because he used the turn of phrase. I think. Yeah, that's a great point. Um, well, we got Vassy content for the next week. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, it, it's, it's, it's funny, though, because... It, it starts a conversation, right, where people look at you and they say, what do you think? You know, do you think that was sexist? And, and if you're a dude and you said that to another dude, the answer is no. If you're a dude and you say that to a female, the answer is yes. But no, going not. back to that is <laughs> it might be it, yes. It, it might is, be it, yes. Depending on if that woman says that was a sexist comment. But like there, my point is there's no definitive answer here. Uh, there's just how a woman took that, which in this case, I happen to think she was right. I happen to think she was right to question him. And, and, and then there's the other part of this whole thing, which is all she does is complain, which we haven't addressed. Well, she's the fucking leader of the opposition. Of course, she's that's what she gets paid to do. She gets paid to complain. I, di I didn't see any Ford boosters complaining yesterday when Aaron O'Toole was getting dragged for complaining. Uh, by everybody else. I mean, the double standards when it comes to trying to figure out whether or not Doug Ford is sexist. Um, there are a million different liabilities that go into deciding whether or not you think it was.